good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's a brand new week and a brand new project. And uh, let's all of us just, just together get this off of our chests right now, okay? Let's, let's just do it. Okay, are we feeling better? Because, you know, I know everyone was thinking it. So there it is. There you go. So this episode is an inspired by Key's flower crocs and also soul craft because we're going to be taking them out into the world and visiting a cafe. So if you're not interested in the flower shoes, that's totally okay. You can skip ahead to the second half of the video where we are visiting a beautiful flower cafe in uh, the Hongdae area. Okay, so the story behind these, these flower crocs is that he made, I think it was two pairs of these on one of his live streams, and it was like a gift that he gave to like fans. I know people have a lot of strong feelings about Crocs, so before you get too worked up, the idea behind these shoes is either representative of this like concept of like walking um, across al along a flowery path together which is why he made them there's like there's like a reason you know it wasn't just something that was born from nothing so um i, I like the sentiment you know there's like wearing flowered shoes so that you're like bringing this flowery path with you in life um that's it, I, I'm one of the people who do really despise Crocs, so I have a lot of mixed feelings about these shoes, but I, I just think that the sentiment is really lovely, and I think that the ones that Key made originally are also very lovely. So as many jokes as I'm going to make about Crocs in this video, um, do know that I think that this idea is quite sweet. <clears throat> I don't really feel like this needs too much explaining, but basically I decided I wanted to go with a purple theme for my... Um, my flower Uggs. <sighs> flower Crocs. Why do I keep calling them Uggs? I, I bought a bunch of purple flowers online and these are super, super cheap. And I got impatient and bought them online and I probably should have just gone somewhere and got them because half of these came in colors that I wasn't really expecting. You know, the purples were kind of off. So I'm ashamed to say that I spent even more time on this project uh, painting some of the leaves and, f and flowers so that they were more in line with the color scheme that I had and um, yeah <laughs> I don't really have very much in the way of constructive feedback slash instructions on how to do this uh, what I ended up doing was just snipping as close to the base of the flower as possible and using a absolute crap ton of hot glue to get them onto the little plug thingies that you can use to attach them to your Uggs. Realistically, I initially thought I was going to like drill some holes into the plugs and then run a really thin piece of wire through there and then wrap that around the flower and if you wanted to make really sturdy flower plugs for your uh, crocs I would suggest doing that I think that's a really good idea I got my dremel tool and drilled a hole into one of the plugs and then just was able to run a tiny bit of wire through but then I knew that I was not going to be wearing these Crocs as they existed for very much or very, very long out and about. And so I decided to take the lazy route. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not like proud of myself. I mean, I'm not proud of myself for making these in the first place when I know I'm not going to wear them. But, you know, I had to do it for the meme. I don't know. Don't judge me, right? I'm, I'm here for your entertainment. <laughs> So yeah, I think if I had committed 100% to the project, I would have drilled holes and used wire and everything would have been sturdy and those flowers weren't going anywhere and it would have been great, but I didn't, okay? I used hot glue. I, I cheaped out. I'm sorry. I, I hope you're not too disappointed in me, but here we are. So the only other things I'll say about it is one don't trust in the hot glue to hold it together like if you need this to stay together do not believe in hot glue because it will betray you um secondly if you're using like smaller flowers i recommend making like little bunches or like little bouquets i guess as you can see me doing in the video footage but if you have bigger flowers which is like my i think my daisy set thingies i ended up putting one daisy per plug because 
once you start like putting them onto the shoe and they have to like mush up against each other and whatever if you start putting too many of those big daisy ones onto the same plug they just will not fit so those are the only advices i can give you for this cursed project oh and for real last tip i think personally mixing <laughs> mixing fabric flowers with plastic flowers didn't work for me having those two different textures just didn't look right and also i found that having too many leaves or just any leaves at all didn't work for my design i ended up getting rid of most of the leaves except for the really kind of dull dark green leaves um, which came with the daisies because it, it just didn't look right like the big having like leaves flying out everywhere they just stuck out at weird places and made the shoes look crazier than they already do so those are my suggestions <laughs> Now for the soul craft segment of the episode, we took these heinous monstrosities to a cafe called Cafe Colin, or just Colin. Um, it's not really a cafe, I guess. It's a cafe restaurant hybrid uh, experience. It's beautiful. I've walked past this place many, many times and always wanted to go in. So uh, this was a great excuse <laughs> to actually give it a go. We went uh, pretty early on a Saturday morning and there was not very many people around yet so we were able to get some footage. The beautiful Zell agreed to wear these heinous awful monstrosity shoes. I'm one of those people who's cursed with strong feelings about Crocs and um, even making these admittedly quite pretty flower Crocs hasn't cured me of that aversion. The menu covers basic cafe stuff, you know your lattes and your Americanos and they have some basic cakes and like a brunch menu and the big pull was this cotton candy latte that we really wanted to try and unfortunately it was not available uh, when we went. I'm not sure whether that was a seasonal thing or because they were out of whatever they needed to make it but essentially it was just like yeah I think you get like a coffee with the a big bowl of cotton candy on the top or they had maybe a strawberry latte which you could also get the big bowl of cotton candy on the top um, but like I said unfortunately we could not get it on this particular day which is probably for the best because it's an awful lot of sugar to be consuming but um yeah they also sell flowers and have floral arrangements and I think there was a florist hanging out there who they keep employed or I don't know how what was going on but yeah you can definitely buy some flower arrangements or bouquets at this cafe and um, I mean as you can see the flowers that they have on site are just absolutely gorgeous which is why we chose it for this particular video being a flower shoe DIY <laughs> I think Malice and I got like a standard latte or vanilla latte or something and Zell got a milk tea and we were all pretty happy with it and there's nothing special to report but it was also perfectly tasty and uh, certainly woke me up for the day. For brunch me and Zell got what was called a plate meal which is essentially like a big breakfast I guess and Malice got a avocado and mushroom omelette which I think she said was pretty tasty and uh, mine and Zell's meal <laughs> started the obligatory Korean versus Korean bacon versus American bacon versus Australian bacon conversation <laughs> that I think foreigners in Korea can't resist having every single time bacon is put on the table. Um, I enjoyed it and I'm pretty sure Malice and Zell had a good time. It's a little bit pricey but you know you're paying for the experience of sitting in this beautiful beautiful cafe. You know as you can see from the footage they obviously put a lot of care and, and time into their flowers and, and the plants that they're raising here so um, yeah a little bit pricey but you know you're paying for the atmosphere the aesthetic as it were okay but serious talk for a second if flower crocs bring you joy in this gray bleak world then please do not let anything that I've said in this video discourage you. I genuinely do think that they're really pretty. Uh, I think that they came out really gorgeous, but they're crazy impractical and they're still Crocs. <laughs> but yes, 
this is this is like some sort of weird societal <laughs> training that I need to overcome because they're just plastic shoes. If you like the way the shoes came out, I would love to hear about it. If you hate the way the shoes came out, um, I would also, I don't know, I probably wouldn't love to hear about it, but you know, I'll, I'll listen. I'll, I'll be there for you, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm here for you. If you hate these shoes, I'm here for you, okay? So yeah, if you do decide to make some flower crocs or if you ever find yourself visiting this cafe, um, we would love to hear about it. We'll have all of our social medias in the description box and of course you can leave us a comment and a like and subscribe if you would like. That would really help us out. And thank you so much for watching and putting up with my shenanigans and we will see you again next week or the week after, whatever happens. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your week. Goodbye!